Welcome back for another fictionalhead.com quick tutorial. Uh, today's tip is an illustrator tip uh, for people who may not know that this kind of subtle functionality exists. Um, I recently stumbled across a plugin or a script for Illustrator which would take any text boxes you have that are oversized like this one and bring up the bottom to line up to the content uh, similar to the way that like a control alt C would do in InDesign to kind of snap to um, the shape of the text so you're not dealing with text boxes that are this big uh, and I actually had a coworker at one point who would always do all of their text in um, boxes like this too uh, and the fact that somebody has made a script to bring the bottom up like that on text boxes leads me to believe that a lot of people do this um, when in actuality there's two ways to handle your text in Illustrator the first being if you click your text tool and drag out a space and paste in your content your text box is going to flow that text and it's going to have a bottom and a shape all of its own but the second way which seemingly a lot of people don't know about is to just take the text tool and click once and then paste your content um, and what that does is it keeps the text box bound to the shape of the text so as you manipulate your text and as you do your line breaks and things the box is going to stay the same you're not going to have this sort of independent control of the box uh, and it's actually going to manipulate your text um, as you adjust those bounds which granted you're probably never going to do terribly often but if you do have text like say a tagline on a product or something where you know um, the text is only this one little piece of text instead of drawing a text box and pasting it in there and constantly having in your design um, you know these oversized text boxes and you're trying to center them and adjust the sizes and everything uh, just use the text tool but only click once before you put your text in and then you're going to have uh, a permanently bound text size without having to worry about um, text box dimensions or running scripts to adjust your text box and things like that. So that's the tip. If you have any questions, shoot them to me on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitter, and hope it was helpful.